Hi guys, I have Rashi Chaudhary once again on my show to give us some really nice recipes for lunch. Hi Rashi, welcome back on the Uma Show. Thank you, thanks again for having me. Well, uh, lunch is, for me, it's a very, very, very important meal and I like to have a very, you know, filling lunch. Right. And usually I have, um, you know, being an Indian, I love Indian food. So usually I have the full meal, you know, quinoa, chapatis with some sabji. Yeah. And... Uh, dal and rice and I like white rice I cannot live without I'm white rice. I'm so glad you like white rice because this mm -hmm. is one thing that people are always against mm -hmm. not realizing when you have it at the right time you have the right amount it can actually be way better than a chapati mm -hmm. for example for a lot right. of people white yeah. rice can actually work better than chapati you mm -hmm. know uh, but one of the things I want to talk about when it comes to lunch especially if it's a home-cooked lunch is that um, I want people to start using the right quality of fat right. or the right cooking medium. So the best form of cooking, if you're cooking home cooked meals, then it's got to be uh, coconut. coconut oil, it's got to be ghee, it's mm -hmm. got to be organic butter, mm -hmm. or then you could go on to mustard oil or say olive oil, you know. Right, yeah. I, I use coconut oil. Yeah. You know, I love coconut oil. And initially when I started using coconut oil at home, almost three years back, and initially right. when I started, I thought maybe the smell will not fit into the Indian cuisine. And though in South of India, we use, yeah. you know, we cook in coconut exactly. oil. And uh, but it's all fine, and I cannot now use any other, any other oil. oil. I know, I know. Coconut oil is one of the best things you can do to your gut, you know. And mm. if your gut is functioning well, then a lot of issues in your body get sorted out. And it's anti-inflammatory. It's amazing, you know. That's, That's if there's one thing people can take from this show right mm. now, like. It should be cooking in coconut oil. Cooking in coconut oil. Yeah. I apply coconut oil in my hair, skin, everything. Yeah, yeah. You can use it for so yeah. many things, so you know. But so yeah. really start with cooking at least. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm really excited you're going to give us two recipes. Yes. What's the first one? Well, so the first one is one of my favorite most. I can mm. eat this all the time. It's sweet potato wedges tossed in uh, sesame seeds, black mm. and white, which are both great for calcium and iron. And we're going to dip that into avocado mash. Okay. And I, are you fond of avocados? I by love oh my avocado. god, I know. I yeah. love avocados. Absolutely. I could have them all day long, exactly. literally. And you so can do so much. Like, with you it. can do so much with it. Uh, avocados, again, people have a big myth. Like they think that it's 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 you know high in fat mm. and it's not good. But trust me, like if your everything else in the day is very well balanced, mm. you can go like you can eat even two avocados a day, and mm. it's so good for your so hormones. Good, yeah. Yeah. So let's start with the first recipe. Let's go. So Rashi, what's our second recipe? Well, this is very interesting. Um, there are a lot of people who just are constantly on the go and you know, they can't really, they don't really get time to make meals and like freshly cooked meals. So this one works very well because what you can do is just make a batch for three days and just keep it in the refrigerator. Okay. Uh, it's rice on the go. I love white rice. I'm so happy to hear that you love white rice as well. So this is white rice with a little bit of protein, a whole lot of vegetables and it's very wholesome. Oh, that's great. And what are you, what are the ingredients? So there's going to be uh, some edamame in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I always uh, mostly tell people to add a little bit of protein, you know, throughout mm -hmm. their meals. Mm -hmm. Now, most vegetarians make a big mistake of relying on mock meats yes. and soy nuggets. Yes. Now, can I please tell... Soy nuggets are so big. I yeah. know. And I can I please tell all your viewers that that's nothing but just a very big gimmick because honestly, soy nuggets are so modified. It's such modified protein. Really? It does not even reach your muscles, you know. Oh my God. And mock meat is even worse because it's got so much sodium that it mm. just cannot so be healthy. So processed, yeah. Yeah. So you can do soy beans. Mm -hmm. uh, if you eat meat, then please go ahead, add, uh, you know, add chicken to it, add some fish maybe you obviously can't mm -hmm. add because we're doing this so you can you know literally keep it in the refrigerator. So chicken would be fine, you could maybe add eggs as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. uh, but for now let's let's do the one with salt. Let's stick to a vegetarian rice on the go. Yes. Let's do it.
Rashi, this is going to be my lunch today. I know. Rice on the go. Yummy. And I'm sure my viewers are really well informed now. I'd love to hear all about it. If Absolutely. They, yeah, if they actually land up doing the stuff and you know using it, I'd love to hear about it. You heard us. Please write to us if you need any help in terms of nutrition. We'll help you out and uh, we'll definitely get back to you. So, Rashi, thank you so much. Thanks again. Thank you.